Yo, what's up guys? So before we begin this video, I have two things to say. One, I couldn't find my normal glasses. That's why I'm wearing these sunglasses inside. I know, it's weird. Bear with me. Number two, I want you guys to meet the contestants. So they submitted a video that's really, really short explaining themselves, maybe, you know, talking about their names and what kind of trick they're doing for the challenge. All right, hopefully this can sway your guys' opinion and maybe my opinion, but to me, it's all about the card trick. So I will explain more after the two submitted videos are complete, but let's go ahead and roll their clips. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Josh. I've been doing magic for um, coming up on three years now. And the trick I'm about to do is kind of just, I was kind of playing around with different ideas of what kind of trick I could do because I was just trying to brainstorm something the moment he said I needed to come up with a trick to fool him and I just played around with different ideas. I tried to come up with something that I know he'll see some things in it, but I'm hoping there's some things he won't see. Um, so let's hope uh, I get the full card master X. Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? My name is Derek Yumina, and I run the YouTube channel Card Tricks 8. I've been performing card magic for give or take 11 years now, and my original effect that I'm going to be performing as my entry for this competition is called Triumph at Any Number, or TAN for short. It's basically a combination of two of the most popular plots in all of card magic, Triumph and Any Card at Any Number. I actually have already posted a performance and tutorial of this over on my channel. You guys should go and check that out. But I think this trick is so good, it's going to win this competition. Before we move on, though, quick shout out to my brother Cardmaster X. Great guy. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, then what the hell? Subscribe to him. Like, what are you waiting for? And also a quick shout out to my opponent, Jay the Magician. I love you, Josh, but you're going down. Let's get it. So I got official rules. For the challenge and the challenge is going to start today but they do not have to submit their videos until Friday so that's four days of them to practice we'll get to that number one performance must be smooth no jump cuts and very little flash you got four days to practice like I said Friday is when the videos have to be submitted and the winner will be chosen on Friday this upcoming Friday this upcoming Friday this Friday this Friday, the 16th. So make sure that the video is smooth, no jump cuts. All you're doing is a performance, you're not doing a tutorial. And make sure you have very little flash, okay? Because flash is gonna deduct points. This is the face of a legend. Number two, must have a common goal. For example, finding a chosen card, producing a card, etc. I don't want you to do a trick, okay, that leads to nothing. It has to lead to something. Number three, any sleight of hand can be used. Just don't go all out with flourishes and keep it simply sleight of hand. So no like crazy symbols, no worms, no no crazy cardistry cuts or false cuts or nothing. Just keep it simply sleight of hand. There's, there's no need to do all this crazy shit and, and, and try to fool me with, with your crazy cardistry because that's cardistry. That's not magic. Number four is have fun. That is a very, very important one. Um, do not treat this like it's serious. It's just a small challenge for a killer B deck. I mean, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And five, at the end of the video that you film, you must say the words, keep mastering life. Just cuz. Let the battle commence. Good luck, both of you. There's one thing I forgot to mention. You are going to be emailing me the video on my official email, which is cardmasterx. 3342 at gmail.com. That's something I forgot to say because I'm fucking as dense as a beaver. So, yeah. I I, I don't know what else to say. Yo, 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 yo. <clears throat> my bad. What's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master here again today for another video. And I am back once again, guys. With another video so for today's video i'm going to be continuing my deck collection this will be deck collection part two and for these decks it's going to be a little bit shorter of a video because there's a lot of duplicates and a lot of decks that are similar so i'm going to try to you know zoom through it a little bit quicker because i have like 280 decks to show you guys so before we begin please don't forget to hit the like button subscribe down below comment on the video for the next and bell notification so you guys can get this video from me also please don't forget to follow me on my social media links which will be in the description box down below so you guys can go check me out say what's up and then we'll get right to you also if you visit www teespring.com slash stores slash shop CMX. You'll be able to pick up yourself some custom CMX hoodies, t-shirts, and stickers, as well as Jabez Z hoodies and t-shirts. And more will be coming, and all of these are not going to stay. I'm going to be switching it up, you know, maybe in a couple months, maybe, you know, for summertime. So 
get it while you can. And uh, without further ado, let's get right into the deck collection. Transition. Well, uh, deck number one is Bicycle Dragonback playing cards, the blue kind. I showed you guys the red kind in the last video, so it's a little bit the same, but I've had this one a little bit longer than I've had the red. And I also don't like that the red cards are blue. To me, just keep it all the same. So deck number two is Red Knights by Chris Ramsey and Daniel Madison. Um, these are distributed by Illusionist, because that's where I got them as their website. But these were actually made by Chris Ramsey and Daniel Madison. They have a cool marking effect, um, which not many people know what it is. But I can tell you that this card right here is an ace. See, I told you. Deck number three is the White Knights, which I think are the first version of the Knights. The pips are actually gold and black which is cool for a customized deck, but for magic and stuff, I always feel like just keep it the same. You know, keep don't don't change it up unless you really have to. Again, as you know, with all my deck collection videos, I will be leaving the links to where you can buy these decks in the description down below, so you guys will be able to go check them out for yourselves. The next decks, which are deck four and five, are actually the same. These are bicycle, auto cycle number one decks, but this is the green one. I've had these for a while too. I think I got these in Christmas of 2017 I'm not exactly sure but they're really nice I like the green back design green is actually my favorite color um, a darker green and I like the pips the pips are really cool they're kind of small so they're not taking up a whole lot of space and they just they work really well with a bunch of different things deck number six is actually the exact same just purple so this is auto cycle number one I'm just gonna take out one card show you that the uh, back design is actually a purple color it's really nice really cool addition to the auto cycle franchise and uh, again, great for magic, great for cardistry, great for anything. Deck number seven is Shin Lim Knock playing cards. Now, I actually got these when they first released. Um, they're still like kind of in decent condition. I haven't used them a whole lot. Um, they remind me a little bit of product red playing cards, except without the black square around the back. But they're pretty nice. Um, comes with really, really bright reds and really, really dark blacks. You know, it's a, it's a magician's playing card, so they should. Comes with a cool gaff card, King of Spades kind of fading out a little bit. You can use that for something. Cool blank card here. And it also comes with two Jokers. I think one of them is in the trash because I had stepped on it, but, you know, here's another Joker here. Deck number eight is Bicycle Auto Bike number one playing cards. This is the red version. I use these probably more than any other deck. They're not super old. I don't. I haven't had these cards for a while. I've maybe had them for like a year. They're still in all right condition. So I think that's why I use them a lot. So I would definitely recommend Bicycle Auto Bike number one playing cards. That's the red version, and I also have the blue version, um, just so I can switch it up if I ever want to. Deck number 10 is again in the Knock family. This is Knock, normal Knock. This is the black Knocks that I have, and they're really cool. I enjoy them a lot. Again, plain back design, so pretty neat for different tricks. And another thing I like is the Jokers, and again, reds and blacks. Reds and blacks. I love it when cards do fucking red and black, because that's the original OG playing cards right there. It's red and fucking black. Do not change it up. I don't know what the fuck these cardistry companies are doing, changing up their pip colors, but they don't have to. They do not have to change up their colors at all. Keep the pips the same color as the original, and people might like them even more because it's original. It, it, there's nothing different about it. So deck number 11 is Knox Sport Pink playing cards. Now, I'm not sure what Knox Sport is. I think it's kind of like a limited summer edition of playing cards or spring maybe. These are bright pink. And uh, I don't mind having bright pink playing cards because they work. Um, I've used these a lot too. I'm pretty sure there's a card in here that is completely ripped at the corner. Deck number 12 is King Slayers by uh, Illusionist. So, a little bit of a game break here because I'm actually stupid as fuck. Um, I know I said that it's King Slayers deck, and it is. But it's actually known as the Desert King Slayer deck. So, yeah, just don't mind my fucking retardedness, and we can continue. Really nice that they did red and black. Okay, they didn't change up the pips, they didn't do nothing. I really like the feel of these cards. I really, really like the design they went for. Nice double backer here. Nice back design. So that is deck number 12. Now we will move on to deck number 13. So, 
Decks number 13 and 14 are pretty similar. Deck number 13 is by Skull Shadow Masters Masters Edition Rider Back. So these are Shadow Masters. These are the Masters Edition that I have. My newest one is Bicycle Shadow Masters Legacy Edition. Legacy Edition is really cool. It's a little bit brighter than the Masters Edition and they're a lot more slick and you can tell they're a lot more made for this type of stuff. So decks 13 and 14 are similar. This is version 1 of Memento Mori. The uh, blue, it's all blue, all different shades of blue. Um, really, really nice cards. I would definitely, definitely recommend getting these cards. They are phenomenal. The only issue that I have with these playing cards is the fact that the clubs and the spades look really similar to the diamonds and the hearts so that way you won't be able to determine which pip is which but it comes with a blank card two jokers I also have it in this cool plastic case because I lost the box for it but it was cool to find this plastic case just sitting around that I used so deck 16 this is Memento Mori but I'm guessing it is deck version 2 I'm glad that they put significant difference between each pip. They have the spades and the clubs more of a purple color, and they have the hearts and the diamonds more of a pinkish color. It also comes with two jokers, again, the same jokers as the other one, except this one is more rainbow-like. As you can tell, the box is really fucking messed up. You know, it's just, this box deserves to be in a mental home because it's just really, really fucked up. Last deck of today's deck collection is Circuit Edition playing cards by Elephant Playing Cards. Um, really, really nice cards. Really nice, nice company. Elephant Playing Cards are cool. You open to nice circuit board here in the tuck box. I love these cards. These cards are really nice. Now, you gotta keep in mind that Elephant Playing Cards are gonna feel different than normal Bicycle or Illusionist Playing Cards, but to me, they still work because you can still do all of the stuff you wanna do with them. Um, so you kind of just got to get used to holding a pack of elephant playing cards, but this circuit edition is really nice. Um, I feel like there's a lot going on on these on the front of these cards. They could have kept it a little more uh, not chaotic. You know, they could have they could have changed st stuff up a little bit, but they're still really cool. Um, I probably use these more for cardistry. I don't know if I'd use these necessarily for magic. Yeah, now for the outro. So I hope that you guys enjoyed part two of my deck collection. I'm going to reiterate, all of these decks of cards will be linked down below so you guys will be able to go check them out for yourselves. Give them a buy and uh, maybe send me a review of your opinion of the cards and maybe I'll feature it in one of my videos. So that is it for today's video and uh, I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Keep mastering life.